Financial services corporations operate in the lending or financing business, providing a range of financial products and services similar to commercial banks. However, unlike commercial banks, they do not hold a banking license and therefore cannot accept deposits from the public. Instead, they raise funds through various means such as issuing bonds, borrowing from financial markets, or leveraging their capital. Examples include GE Capital Division and other non-bank financial institutions that specialize in lending and financial services. Example of a financial services corporation in Malaysia is Malaysia Building Society Berhad, MBSB. While MBSB operates in the lending and financing business similar to commercial banks, it does not hold a banking license and therefore cannot accept deposits from the public. Instead, it raises funds through various means, including issuing bonds and borrowing from financial markets to provide financing solutions to individuals and businesses in Malaysia. Insurance companies sell insurance to individuals and businesses to protect their investments. They collect premium and hold the premium in reserves until there is an insured loss and then pay out claims to the holders of the insurance contracts. The reserves are deployed in various types of investments, including loans to individuals and businesses. Investment Bank is a specialized financial institution that offers a range of services, including assisting companies and governments in raising capital through the issuance of stocks or bonds, providing advisory services for mergers, acquisitions, and other financial transactions, and facilitating trading of securities. Investment banks also engage in underwriting securities offerings and providing market-making services. An example of an investment bank in Malaysia is CIMB Investment Bank Berhad. CIMB Investment Bank is a leading investment banking firm in Malaysia, providing a comprehensive range of financial services, including advisory services for mergers and acquisitions, equity and debt capital market transactions, and corporate finance solutions. Mutual funds are professionally managed according to a stated investment objective. Through mutual funds, individuals can invest in virtually all of the securities offered in the financial market. Individuals can invest in mutual funds by buying shares in the mutual fund at the net asset value. Mutual funds can either be load or no load funds, based on how they charge fees to investors. Load funds impose sales charges or commissions, which are deducted from investors' contributions when purchasing shares in the fund. In contrast, no-load funds do not charge these upfront sales commissions, allowing investors to buy shares without incurring additional fees. Exchange-traded funds, or ETF, are investment funds that are traded on stock exchanges, similar to individual stocks. ETF typically hold a diversified portfolio of assets, such as stocks, bonds, or commodities, and aim to track the performance of a specific index or sector. Investors can buy and sell ETF shares throughout the trading day at market prices, making them flexible and easily accessible investment vehicles. ETF offer diversification, liquidity, and lower costs compared to traditional mutual funds, making them popular among investors seeking broad exposure to various asset classes. Mutual funds and ETFs provide a cost-effective way to diversify, which reduces risk, a great benefit for the small investor. Hedge funds are similar to mutual funds but are less regulated, take more risk, and are generally open only to high-net-worth investors. Hedge funds operate by pooling funds from investors and employing various investment strategies to generate returns. They may also employ alternative investment strategies such as long-short equity, global macro, event-driven, or quantitative trading strategies. Management fees are higher for hedge funds, they typically run at about 2% of the assets and include an incentive fee, typically 20% of profits, based on the fund's overall performance. Private equity firms invest capital in private companies or acquire public companies, aiming to enhance their performance and generate profits. They raise funds from institutional investors and employ various strategies, including leverage buyouts and operational improvements. They invest in equities that are not traded on the public capital markets. Two types of private equity firms dominate this group are venture capital, a VC, firms, and leverage buyout, LBO, a firms. Venture capital firms raise money from investors, wealthy people and other financial institutions, which they then use to provide the initial financing for private startup companies. 
For example, initial financing of Google was provided by a venture capital firm called Kleiner Perkins Corfield and Bias. Last but not least, leverage buyout, or LBO, firms acquire established firms that typically have not been performing well with the objective of making them profitable again and then selling them. An LBO typically uses debt to fund the purchase of a firm.